uh, this week. There's going to be lots and lots and lots of stalls. Um, yeah, so to start off with, um, as I'm sure most of us are familiar, if you perform a stall, you can think of it as being in the cross-section of either the plane that you just stalled out of, in which case you can go back out of it reverse, or you can continue going the same direction, for instance. Um, or you can consider it to have stalled in the cross-section of the plane at a right angle to it, like so, right? Like so, like so. Now this leads to uh, some kind of wacky, fun 3D patterns that you can play around with, and which I've been having a lot of fun with since fire drums. Namely, um, so uh, a couple weeks ago I figured out, oops, not familiar with the balls. This little ditty where you switch from um, kind of a split time pattern out to the sides to isolation in the middle. And then discovered that it was even easier to switch to a buzz saw in the middle and then the transition back out. It's really simple. So all that is is just, you know, as you're um, doing split time same direction out to the sides, you stall inward, so one is straight up, the other is straight down. And the moment that they're kind of hanging there, you've got the ability to switch them into a buzz saw. And once again, to get them out, you know, you stall one of them down, you stall one of them up, and you can separate them back out into that nice split time feel that you had before. So once again, and out, and in, and out, like so. Uh, da, da. Awesome, right? This also leads to some uh, kind of fascinating figures on the 2D plane. And it wasn't until this week that I realized that you could do those same kind of stalls sideways. I figured that uh, the way to do that would be, you know, you start from a stall over here, and you carry it around over here, and uh, your hand would kind of lead it into the next rotation. But it turns out, this is the much more efficient way of doing it. Which if you look from the side, it kind of looks like it's hovering there for a second, right? So, two fun things come out of this. Number one, if you are, like myself, a Uta fan, all of a sudden you find that those crazy ass stalls that Uta is famous for are not so difficult after all. But you can remember which direction you're going in. Like so. So all that is is um, you can also see with the stalling up. You stall up, you go around. So it's you stall up, you go around, and you come back out of it. Same direction, right? So, stall up, go around, and down. Stall up, go around, and down. So, you can do the upward one. You can do the 360 there. Or you can do the, uh, the split time butterfly variant. Like so. Not as clean as Yuta does it, mind you, but um, I still think it's pretty cool. Yeah. Anyways, um, the other cool place that that takes you to is um, at Fire Drums, there was a dude named G who uh, was teaching us how to play around with 3D flowers. 
like so. And you just like that. Just don't end. And all of a sudden you start finding all these funky little junction points where you can switch between all these different planes. So, there's that. And um, here's, uh, here's a kind of funky one. So, I'm sure most of us have seen uh, uh, pendulum stalls that you can just like completely halt the movement of the poi by moving up above its arc and you know, arc yourself, right? And you can also use that as a transition point for getting into the next arc, say. Right? Now imagine if you get that going with two hands and you could either stall them up together or imagine stalling one up and stalling the other one down, like so. And you get what I am thinking of right now as an S-curve stall. Provided I can keep my hands even as I come out of it. Once again, I'm pretty sure somebody else has played with it first, but uh, it's new and fun to me. Last but not least, um, right before I left for fire drums, I never had a chance to do this in a tech blog, but um, I'd seen Ellie and John do this trick a whole host of times where you switch the orientation oops, of the central axes around which your poi are going, right? Like so. Yeah, um, that's about it for this week. You guys enjoy, and uh, talk to you on the flip side. Until next week, peace.